Welcome to Joystack. You will learn how to create a Python program to convert time from 12 hour to 24 hour format in this video of Joystack. Here I am in my PyCharm ID and in this script, I'll write the program and explain it to you step by step. I recommend you code it along with me because that way you will understand the program better. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Now let's deep dive into creating the program. We'll begin by writing the main function first. There you go. Let's first uh, write the code to take the time from the console. The program will be accepting the time in the 12 hour format like this. So we declare a variable v underscore time. And after the equals to sign, we'll write the input function within which we'll write a message. Enter the time in 12 hour format okay this is it the code to take the time from the console is complete we will define a function f underscore conversion now to which we will be passing this time collected in v underscore time so this function is going to accept one argument let's call it t We'll now import Python's date time module because it has certain functions that will help us with our conversion. Basically, we are interested in importing only the date time class from the date time module because it has those functions which are going to help us with our conversion. So we are going to write from date time import date time. All right. We'll use the strp time function of the date time class. What does this strp time function do? It parses a string into a date time object. Thus, we are going to write date time dot strp time. All right. As its first parameter, we'll pass the time t. That's the argument of the function. And as its second parameter, we'll pass the format as percent i colon percent m colon percent s and then percent small p okay the capital i represents the r in the 12 r format the capital m represents minute and capital s represents seconds component of the time passed and guess what this is small p represents yes it represents am or pm this makes sure that the time this program is going to accept must have am or pm appended at the end this is common sense because when we express time in 12 hour time format then we put am or pm at the end now this entire expression is going to return a date time object let's receive it in a variable and we are going to call that variable var okay now using the strf time function of the date time class will change this date time object that contains time in 12 hour format into a 24 hour time format. The strf time function converts a date time object into a string. Thus, we'll write date time dot strf time. And as its first parameter, we are going to pass our date time object, which is stored in this variable var. As its second parameter, we are going to pass a format that will be percent h colon percent m colon percent s. All right. Capital H represents an R in 24 hour format. M and S are for minutes and seconds. Let's store the string returned by our function into a variable. We are going to call it vres and display the value in this variable vres using the print function. So we are going to write print and um, as its message we will write 24 hour format of then we are going to put t which contains time in a 12 hour format then within double quotes we'll write is comma v underscore press so understand what happened here we collected time from the console in 12 hour format that was a string then using the strp time function we converted that string into a date time object 
also in 12 hour format and then using the strf time function we reconverted the date time object into a string now that string is time in 24 hour format and we are displaying that string over here using the print function so we are going to call this function f underscore conversion from the main function now and then run the program so we'll write f underscore conversion and uh, as its parameter we'll pass v underscore time let's run the program and check the output all right so it's asking me to enter the time in 12 hour format let me enter 1 35 pm of the day so i have the seconds component as well let's hit enter and see what output it gives and there you go the program prints 24 hour format of 1 35 23 pm is 13 35 23 which is absolutely correct and this was method number one to convert time from 12 hour to 24 hour format let's now see method number two for that we'll create a function f underscore method two and it will also accept an argument t there you go the time that the program is going to receive will have am or pm appended to it the logic is simple if the time has pm then we'll have to add 12 to the r component remove the pm part of the string and print the remaining substring and if the time has am then we'll do nothing but remove the am from the time string and print the remaining substring okay to see whether the time contains pm or am and also to extract the r component of the time we'll use the slicing technique so let's first write two simple lines of code it will be if t square brackets minus 2 colon comparison operator am p underscore res equals to t square brackets colon minus 2 let's understand this piece of code this expression is going to pick out the last two letters of our time string and we'll check whether it is am okay if it is then we are going to assign the entire string except the last two characters to this variable v underscore res now if the last two characters is pm so let's write the code for it elif t minus 2 colon comparison operator pm then we are going to extract the r component from the time string okay so let's extract it it will be t within square brackets colon 2 now this r component we are going to convert it into an integer now we are going to add 12 to it so what we are doing over here is if the last two characters are pm then we are extracting the r component and adding 12 to it simple logic now we are going to reconvert this entire expression into string because we need to attach it to the minutes and the seconds component so we'll make use of the str function and take this entire expression within its brackets then we'll write the plus sign and write the code to extract the minutes and the second components so it will be plus t within square brackets we'll write 2 that's our starting index colon minus 2 all right this code is complete but there is something which we need to pay attention to let's say if the given time is the r component here cannot be 12 it needs to be replaced with double zero which needs to be prefixed to the minutes and the seconds component so we'll first check if the last two characters is am for that we will simply copy and paste this code over here then we'll check if the r component is 12 so let's copy this piece of code and place it over here we will use comparison operator and then we'll simply write 12 okay so if the last two characters is am and the r component is 12 then the variable vres will be assigned double zero prefix to the minutes and the seconds component so that code we wrote over here let's copy and paste it over here now let's say if the time is 
the R component here is 12. Adding 12 to it changes the R component to 24, which is not acceptable. Hence, in this scenario, when the time has PM appended to it, we will have to return the time as it is stripping PM off. So we'll first check if the last two characters is PM. We have the code written over here. Okay, and we are going to check if the R component is 12. So that code is over here. Okay, we'll have to make use of LF over here. Otherwise it won't work. Now, if the last two characters is PM and the R component is 12, then V underscore res will be assigned the time without the PM string. So that code is over here as well. Okay, and let me change this if to elif because it's also a part of the same if else. Finally, this function will display the value of the variable v underscore res. For that, I'm going to simply copy and paste this line of code over here. And uh, now we are going to make a call to this function from the main function. I'm going to comment this out to avoid confusion. Let's call this function. So it will be f underscore method two, which will accept v underscore time as its parameter. Oh, and there is one thing I missed. I will have to assign the value of this entire expression to the variable v underscore res. Okay, now let's run the program and check the output. All right, the program is asking me to enter the time in 12 hour format. Let's enter 12 45 p.m. and the seconds component will be 45. And there you go, the program prints that the 24 hour format of this time is 12 45 45, which is correct. Now let's run another use case. This time let's enter 12 17 a.m. and it prints the 24 r format correctly for this time as well let's enter any time of the noon so let it be 3 15 pm you can see it printed the time correctly and uh, let's enter as the final use case 11 25 a.m. and the program prints the 24 hour format of this time correctly as well with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning it tell me in the comment section how did you find it and if there are any questions related to this program then put them down in the comment section i'll be really happy to help you i'll see you in the next video of joystick and only for this video goodbye and take very good care of yourself